It was a great start for the New Saints today. Just 16 minutes on the clock, 4-0 up. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was everything you want. I said about Druid the other day, didn't I? And, you know, it's important to start well. Um, I said to the lads before the game, it's... it's you look back at the Haverford West game, we haven't, give, we haven't, we haven't kept the ball well enough. Um, so, set that challenge today, but I almost said, you know, I don't care how you play today, we come out of here with three points. Um, because if you didn't, you've got a mountain to climb going into the last 11 games. So, for them to start like that's different class, fair play. Um, yeah, second half a little bit different, but made a lot of changes. That's going to happen. Um, and, you know, Carnarvon Friday, I'm not going to leave. 11 lads on the pitch for, for 90 minutes when you've got the quality we've got on the bench. So it's about everyone moving forward, it's about everyone getting minutes, staying fresh because you, know, you don't know what's going to happen. 6 0 for the New Saints, five different names on the score sheet. It shows just how difficult the team is to play against. Yeah, um, I think for the last couple of games we've, we've shown that. I think the lads are right on at the moment, they're, they're, they're right at it every day. Um, they're, they're enjoying the football as you see there. It's it's almost yeah. There's a, there's there's going to be some big decisions moving forward. It's going to be a difficult team to pick. So all the best to whoever comes in in the next uh, week or two. But yeah, look, there's 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 a squad of you know twenty odd players there, that, uh, and anyone can wear a shirt every week. So um, we're hopefully we're hitting the ground run, you know, hitting form at the right time. And it was great to see Ryan Brobble come on and even better, six minutes into the second half he scored. Yeah, that's what it's all about, you know. Poor Sis, it took Sis off, he, he, he had his goal, yeah. but it's about, as I've said, it's about the whole squad, about the whole team. So, you know, if we can get Ryan Brobble 45 minutes at a, at a time like this, then then brilliant. So, fair play to Sis, he, he, he accepted it, he's ready, to, he's ready for Friday. But yeah, great to have Brobs back, I said the other day, I think. It's a massive, massive boost to have some a player like that at the top end of the pitch coming back for the for the running. And when you look at the substitutes who came on, it shows the depth of squad that is available to the manager at the New Saints. Yeah, it's it's about the depth of the squad, it's about the quality of the squad, but it's but it's also people like Brobs coming back and, and, and having the other lads there, it gives you you know that adaptability to, to, to change shape if you like. So I'm sure they probably thought we were going to play a different way today. Um, we've we've struggled at times against that teams who are playing the same kind of shape really. So we've worked worked a little bit over the last two weeks to to mix it up a bit and you know go with two strikers at times. So we've got that option now. And, and, and as I said, as you say, yeah, there's there's a lot of good players in that squad, but it gives you you know the ability to change shape a little bit as well and and keep people guessing. So that's what it's all about. You know, we don't want to get stale. Um, and yeah, the lads, the lads coming on, are, they're all top, top players. And not just 11 goals in two games, but also two clean sheets as well. How important is that? It's massive. You know, it's, it's about that. Um, making sure, you know, you don't get complacent throughout, throughout the game and then take those little little bits of complacency into next games and stuff. So, yeah, we spoke about half-time. That was, that was the main, the main object, objective, really, second half, just to, just to keep it tight and... and um, then get your players on to go and enjoy themselves and, and Brobs has done that. It's it's a great little move, you know, he's picked it up, gone and played off drapes I think and then and that's a great finish. That's what he does. So yeah, looking forward to the next couple of weeks. Things might be in place over the next week, ten days, two weeks, I don't know, but we'll just keep uh, keep working every day and, and when 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 something happens we'll uh, we'll adjust and, and we go again. But looking in a good place well. And talking of the next game, that's Carnarvon at home next Friday. It's so a final game of Phase 1. Today was a perfect confidence booster to take on Carnarvon next week. Definitely. They're, they're looking all right, aren't they? You know, they've got lots to play for, top six, I think. Uh, I'm not sure how the results went today, so it's all to play for, I think. Um, yeah, they'll be right out, won't they? Um, I think we've just got to relax now, have uh, 36 hours off and then ready to go again Monday, that's all we can do, but the lads are right on it, enjoying the football and, and you know, the, the intensity there is, is frightening again.